Hey everyone, so when I started my channel, uh, I wanted to talk about my passion for red ring boots, but I also wanted to find others who are just as passionate uh, about their boots. And so I'm meeting up with Upstate Guy Style. I'll link his uh, Instagram below. And we're gonna talk about his love for red ring boots, a special pair that he owns that I'm really jealous about. So uh, let's go check it out, come on. So here I am with Albert, and we're talking about Red Wing boots. Yes, <laughs> and you've got a you've got a couple of them. I do. I've, I've I heard do. Rumors. I do. So today I'm wearing the 8146 in Briar. I'll show you that. Oh, they've got a little texture in them. Yes. I just noticed that. Albert has something very special. Tell him what you're wearing. Oh uh, yes, today I'm wearing my brand new uh, uh, shot parka, which I really love because I freeze my ass off and then absolutely needed a proper coat. <laughs> but it's uh, CJ here. knew that I owned a pair of Huntsman boots. Uh, they are uh, hard to find. They're no, no longer Very hard uh, sold. To find. They were first put out as an anniversary boot in like 2015. And I just happened to be in the village. I went to a store called Graham Fowler to buy a flannel shirt. And while I was in the store, I bought these boots. I just thought they were sort of classic. Uh, they, and I, I hadn't even been boot shopping that day, but I went with them. And then afterwards, found out that they were, you know, a friend of mine in the gym said, "Oh my, my God, dude, those are collectors." <laughs> items. Yeah. And once I heard collectors' items, I started researching, going online, yeah. and realized, oh my God, people aren't kidding. These are like really hard to find. Yeah. Before you knew it, I had a feed about my rugged style uh, inclinations, and and definitely. So I have to credit the Huntsman boot for yeah. starting this whole uh, rugged style blog that I did. Cool. Let's take a look at these dude. boots. Yeah, let's check it out. And we get some good sunshine too. They are. They're Klondike. Yeah, black Klondike leather. Black Klondike leather These laces. Are, yeah, they are leather laces. They're the original, the original laces. New gloves too, dude. And they have touch, touch sensors. That's awesome. uh, anyway, so yeah, they're they're taller. They're um, I guess eight inch yeah. boots. Um, I like. You can see here. There's the little uh, oh, yeah. brown coming through. That's right. I would have more of that coming through, except I. I tend to polish my boots, so I've been I've polished these many times. I've also resold them. The bottoms I've worn out over the course of the past three years, and I do like this little touch, the little red wing, little yeah embossed. I think it's called embossed, embossed little uh, red wing thing. There looks pretty cool. But the reason I I really love these boots is that you know you can wear them with jeans, obviously, but I have worn these with a suit, uh, you know, on a on a slushy, gross day. And nobody's, uh, you know, said it, a word about it. I'm a music promoter, so you know I could dress kind of. I have to dress up for concerts, but I, I will like slap on the Red Wings and uh, sl slip them into the concert hall. Um, you know, I really like the idea of, of eclectic style. Yeah, I kind of like don't like being uh, typecast yep. in terms of how I look or how I behave. So like, if I'm in a room full of like really smart. Folks who like Ivy League types, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will play up on more on my Bronx roots. <laughs> okay. I deal with more working class, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then when I'm with my working class friends, they give me shit because you know they're like, "Oh, I went to Stanford," and they like kind of like, "Oh, you're this, you're so freaking smart." <laughs> so um, it it really is reflected in the way that I dress. I kind of want to fit in in any environment that I want. I don't want to ever look like, "Oh, that's a 50 year old guy who shops at Brooks Brothers." Right. I want people to look at me and say, "Hey." That's a really interesting combination of things. I would have never thought to mix those things. So, I mean, we talked about the parka. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the, got, it's warm enough, actually. It's not so cold. But yeah, I just got your basic Levi's. I love this shirt. It's called the Barstow. It's a gorgeous, really beautiful blue. I like the wash. It's a great wash, guys. Yeah, it's a really great wash. Yeah. It's it's affordable. It's less than 100 bucks. I yeah. bought this down in Dallas. An amazing stag. store called Stag. Stag is really good. Actually, you turned me on the Stag because I did. You got the um, you had the round toes and Klondike. I did. Yeah, and so I didn't buy those there, but I was wearing them, right. and they owned, they had them there. Yeah, great boots. And so thank you to Albert because I was able to find the round toe Klondikes, and I know I was trying to find as many round toes as I possibly could because Red Wing is getting rid of the round toe. So thank you for that. Well, dude, I mean, this is what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. The problem with this whole uh, community, we call it the community. People like the denim dudes, right. and the boot dudes, and this and that. The thing is, it's very expensive. The minute you start following each other, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, oh, I think I have everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, dude, yeah. check out that jacket. <laughs> yeah. Like, I am checking out your jacket. What are you looking at? I can't see it. This funny. is a scotch and soda. Scotch and soda. Yeah. Look, come on, the guy's got, <laughs> look, look at the style, jeez. Um, 
So yeah, that's one of the downsides, but the, the, the upside really has been, uh, I mean, literally, this, the, the, the mail that I get, the, the messages from people, I mean, I've got buddies in Moscow and nice. the Ukraine, that's awesome. and uh, you know, in Malaysia, yeah. and, and uh, all across Europe, and uh, you know, they, some of them have really become great friends. A couple of photographers that I met have become absolutely as good friends as I have uh, uh, through, not just through the style stuff, but you know, I think I think it's been a way for you know guys uh, in our culture to bond yeah. with each other. Everyone's way too busy, and you know, as you when you get my age, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> 50, 56. Uh, when you get older, it, it's harder to make fr uh, new friends. Yeah. I mean, you don't have as much time. You're busy. If you've got kids, it's even True. Uh, crazier. And so when you have that ability to to make new friends and connect with people, it's really a great thing. And I have to say that's the, the most yeah. unexpected thing that happened with this whole style thing. So tell me about the other Red Wing boots that you own. Um, yeah, like I said, I owned a pair or two of Red Wings before I even knew that people obsess about them. Yeah. Uh, and then I bought these Huntsman's uh, back in 2015, and uh, that's when I started this style blog. People asking me questions about these boots, and I just decided like I want to uh, do you know get more into the whole scene. Yeah. And since that time, I bought you know I bought um, a couple of like the shorter six inch mocks. Actually, I have a couple of different colors. The 875s, I think. Right? I have. I the just 8 got 875s, 8 yeah. which was like just a swap. A friend of mine w had them. They were too big on him. I gave him a pair of boots in exchange. And I, I got a great, great new pair of boots. But I have uh, different, like maybe four or five different color mocks. Um, you know, the 877s, the slightly yeah. taller ones. Uh, those I actually use for. You know, I have a weekend place up. That's why. Upstate guy style came from is mixing upstate New York influences, Hudson Valley, with New York's my New York City life during the week as a music promoter. And uh, so I actually have boots up there that stay up in the country at our house up there, and I really use them for outdoor work. Uh, you know, in the city, people don't realize when you're in New York though, you really need a good pair of yeah, shoes. Yeah, that's true. You, you really know, do. The weather's shit. Yeah. Um, you know, you're walking around in bad weather, and if you have good shoes, you're gonna ruin your shoes. Yeah. One thing I will say about the Huntsman is that not great is even a little bit of snow or ice on the ground, you slip. And you slip. They're basically, I do not wear them. Yeah. I mean, they're they're encouraging you to break your yeah. neck. Uh, Wait, let's see so, what else so I Albert owns a pair. Tell him about the mock toes that you own that are really hard to find as well. You have two. He has two red wings that are are extremely oh, rare. The good. Kangatans. Yes, yes. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yes. Actually, the Kangatans are not that different in color from this jacket. Yeah. It's, this, it's this unusual green. Right. Uh, once again, that was, I have to admit, uh, somebody knew that I liked them and a friend was selling his pair. It was one of those. They sent me a link, so I got them as a, it's like a vintage thing. Um, so they were already broken in. Yeah. They look great. It's a, it's a really unusual color. But it's, it's nice. Like it's this. really I mean, nice. Yeah. It's, it's a bit darker the, than that. Yeah, you say the phrase like green leather and yeah. you're like, what? Yeah. yeah. Then you see it and it's like, wow, it's yeah. a cool look. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the interview. I hope to bring you many more interviews of Red Wing owners. Um, remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.